We live in an age where career changes are very frequent, sometimes voluntary, sometimes not. When you look at your decision to make the move from CNBC to Fox, describe that experience for you. How did you know it was time to go? I had been at CNBC 20 years, and I loved every minute of it. But my decision to leave really was twofold. On the one hand, I felt like audiences were changing, and I needed to change. And, um, you know, after 20 years of being at one place, I said to myself, maybe now this round number is a time for me to start thinking about alternatives. The issue I had with CNBC was I felt that we were constantly focused on the short term. You know, there was a pressure on me to have five people on at once. There was a pressure on me to do five minute interviews. I like longer interviews. I like the, your format. I like the Charlie Rose format. I like to sit there and walk away from an interview and really feel like I am smarter. Um, and I feel that that's what the viewer wants. So I started to think about how things were changing in media in general. And I realized that maybe that, you know, five people in one interview and five minute interview segment worked in the 90s where we were all about the stock market and dot com. I felt it wasn't working anymore. And I felt that viewers wanted more. And I realized that there was a certain structure at CNBC that had become the norm. And the way I wanted to do it was a little different. And so that's when I started thinking to myself, maybe I should look to see if there is another venue for me. It happened to be that my contract was up. I had done four five-year deals at CNBC. And so every deal I did, I decided to just resign early and not you know, think about anyone else. This time I said, I'm going to let the contract expire and see if there's something else out there for me. Roger Ailes came to me and presented an opportunity to me that I really could not pass up because it was a daily program every day, two hours live on the opening bell on the Fox Business Network, and an opportunity to build something, build this new network um, that, uh, that he started, and uh, have a Sunday morning program on the Fox News Channel, which is an enormous audience, and have a much bigger platform. So when he presented that to me, I realized it was something that I had to do. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to a brand new program here on Fox News Channel, different than anything you've seen before. Sunday morning. You're a very, very high profile person in the media industry. And when the announcement went out, uh, the, the internet blew up. Um, a lot of people were surprised, a big move. What surprised you about people's reactions when, when the announcement went up? I, I didn't know, you know, I, I didn't realize it was going to be such a big deal. But as I think about it, you know, I was the brand uh, of CNBC for a long time. And, you know, a decision to leave and um, do something else just was a surprise to people, I guess. You know, I was at the top of my game. I was doing well. I had a great job. I, I loved my job. But the opportunity to have a bigger platform um, was important to me. I don't know what surprised me about the reaction. I guess I get surprised sometimes when people, you know, say to me, wow, Fox, you know, why did you, why did you go to Fox? Um, and, you know, Fox News Channel is the leading cable network. So for me, it's pretty obvious, you know, it's got a tremendous reach. Why, why wouldn't I go to Fox? Um, but th I guess that surprised me that people were so surprised that I would, I would choose the network where the head of the network actually put me on television 20 years earlier, Roger Ailes. So it really, in retrospect, I, it, it was a natural. The television industry is obviously very competitive and it's like sports. Someone's always, always at your back, always vying for, for first place. How do you keep up your game? How do you deal with that pressure, particularly now where everybody is watching your ratings, watching everything you're doing and seeing how you're going to play out in this, this new move? It's hard. I mean, you know, you, you, you live in a fishbowl and I do and I recognize that. But at this point, to be honest, I'm used to it. And so what I've always done throughout my career and what I continue to do is I focus on me and I focus on where I'm going and I don't focus on the noise around it. And I'm not looking at competitors trying to figure out what they're doing. I'm looking at me trying to figure out what I'm doing. And it's worked for me because I don't get distracted. I keep my eye on what I'm doing and I think it's very important to keep your eye on the ball when you're competing. You said that, that you've navigated your career and your personal life in a fishbowl. 
with people having opinions and reactions to every decision that you make, often very critical reactions. How do you deal or how have you dealt with that type of, of feedback? And how have you been able to, to not get weighed, weighed down by all of that noise? Does anything still, still get you personally? Does anything sure. still get through? Absolutely. You know, I mean, I'm on Twitter all the time and Google+. Plus. I have 4 million followers on Google+. Plus and uh, you know, 100,000 plus on, on Twitter. And oftentimes there is someone there who says, oh, I hated that interview, or oh, she looks exhausted today, or you know, she's horrible, you know, whatever it is. And um, when someone is critical of me or my work, the first thing I do is think to myself, is there truth to this? Is there any truth to this? And if there is truth to this, um, I wanna take a hard look at what I'm doing and make sure that I'm doing it the way it should be done. So you always want to look at a critical comment and try to learn from it. That's number one. And then after you've given it a few minutes of your time, then I think you forget it and you leave it alone. And if there are changes to be made, you make a change. If not, and you realize that this is just a person doing what they do, it's not necessarily about me, it's just someone doing what they do, um, then you need to move forward. Do you feel successful now? I do, I do. I feel. I feel really happy that I was able to have the courage to make a big decision in my life. And it was a big decision for me because, like I said, I love CNBC. And I had an unbelievable career there. But um, there was something inside of me that wasn't feeling right after 20 years. There was something that was telling me this could be more. You could be doing more with, with what you have and what you do and who you are, and I felt I wasn't uh, doing it, the job to its fulfillment because there was more to do. I want to constantly learn. I want to become a better journalist. I want to become you know, um, a better everything, and so I needed to make a change in my life.